Now, as many of you know, if you've seen me before, I'm an avid fan of San Martin watches. Now, why am I a fan? Well, even though I've had a few disappointments along the way, and there's a few quirks which I've not quite got over, such as slightly sharp edges, um, dodgy movements in one of the watches, uh, inconsistent branding, things like that. And price is rising, actually, while I'm thinking of it, and some of their, some of their pieces. And unoriginal designs. I mean, it sounds like I'm poo-pooing them a bit too much early on, but there's more to these watches than meets the eye initially, and that's where this watch comes in. I think it's a slow burn, a bit of a stealth watch in my experience with these kind of watches, but why? Uh, before we get into those kind of details, you're going to need to know the stats and specs. So let's take a closer look at this piece and then we'll have a little bit of a chat. So it's a great all-rounder for specs, as you can see. You get a lot for your money, less than 200 pounds. But there's a few things I'm not so sure about, which I think I can overlook when we analyze it close up. So let's do some proper reviewing and I'm gonna share with you why I think this piece is awesome. So what am I gonna analyze about this watch? Well, first of all, uh, spoiler alert, I, I adore it. I just, it's grown on me. When I first got it, I wasn't initially blown away. I don't know why. I th it's one of those things that you can presume you're just going to like a watch immediately from looking at it. I didn't do a first impressions of this watch. It's lucky I didn't because I'd have maybe been a bit meh about it, you know. But time with this watch. I'm late to the party reviewing this. Almost every reviewer out there has reviewed this piece. I'm, I've chosen to be late to the party because I've allowed myself to see if there's anything else that's worth noting that you may not have seen in the other reviews or just to reinforce what you may have seen. Or if you're just on the on the fence and want to maybe be tipped either side, hopefully I can help you out. So let's go through the things I've been immediately impressed with. And the golden ratio design of this watch is spot on. The dial size in relation to the bezel and, and the lugs and the length of the watch, everything works so well. The lovely female end links, which they've even done a clever little raised bit there to help just create the watch lugs, um, sorry, the, the end links to blend in with the lugs a bit better. And it's just, it works. And then when the watch is conforming around your wrist, see with the bend there, that part of this link works in tandem with that link really well. It's just the little details that just allow it to work cohesively together. And the lovely taper down to this beautifully milled clasp. Initially, it was a tiny bit stiff at this position, but it's worn in. So if I initially would have criticised that, that criticism would have gone. Brushing is breathtaking on this watch. They've, they've taken it even to another level. It is faultless it's stunningly refined it's as good as any swiss watch i've seen and I'm, I'm not overstating that i swear i have a swiss watch and i've i can't criticize the brushing it is that good and the, all the links they're just so perfectly uh, machined there's there's no sort of binding anywhere there's no rattle there's no play the end links fit so perfectly in the lugs there's no rattle of any unnecessariness going on there this clasp Initially, like I said, it was stiff at that point there where it would click in, but it is so beautifully machined. There's no rattle here, no play. The screw links, I've not put any Loctite on them and they've, I've resized this, obviously, for my wrist. None of them have worked loose or anything like that can happen. The tolerances are really good on these pieces. The slight negative would be the NH35. Why don't they upgrade this to a NH38 so you don't have this stupid ghost position? They regulate their movements. So other some interesting facts I wanted to share with you I haven't seen in any other reviews is... Got some footage here just going to come up while I chat with about just how professional it looks like the factory is. I mean, um, I don't want this to be too much like a promotion video because it's not. I've not been paid. I paid for this watch myself. I've not been told what to say uh, and all that jazz. But I wanted to share with you just to see some behind the scenes stuff, which is really interesting. They pressure test the watches. They really do generally very, very concise quality control checking way the hands are applied and they check the alignment between all the hands using a, like a macro uh, camera and really make sure everything is really done beautifully they really well polish all the hands and everything is just so beautifully machined and made and in a 
sterile environment, no dust and bits and that generally anywhere. They do their very utmost. There's, there's often a poor reputation in Chinese factories, uh, not necessarily just watches anywhere that we're aware the conditions aren't great, etc. But this company looks like they're, they are doing things at the right level. And I'm only judging that from a video, guys, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Now, here comes the plot twist. There's a slip, a bit of a twist in that, unfortunately. A bit of an error with when it comes to all the branding. They need to refine their branding a bit better. I know they're working on it. I'm not going to be too hard on them because we've got San Martin text on here in this font, which doesn't match the colour of the patinaed indices and hands, etc. Then we've got this blocky, weird, modern, retro, I don't know what kind of things going on here with that. Uh, S on the crown. Then we've got this different branding here. So three different branding on one watch. I don't like that but it's not a deal breaker. These are refinements I know they'll, they'll get better at. Back to positives, I adore this raised crystal. It's very much in keeping with this vintage look. They often had raised plexiglass and acrylic crystals. This is sapphire, so you've got AR coating on there and but it plays with the light beautifully. And, and you know, you've got that scratch resistance and it's just adds a bit of class. Um, and, and the polishing as well, the few polished aspects on the sides and on this bezel, they all contrast beautifully with the, like I said, that incredibly refined, good quality brushing all around the other parts of the watch. So it all works together to amalgamate into a beautifully designed watch. And they've got the proportions just right on this watch. I know they're talking about a 36 mil size watch. And I think a 36, even though we've been crying out for it, myself included, going, oh, please now, Martin, please make a 36. I beg of you, I'll buy 10. I've not had any issues with this 39. It's, it's almost like, why am I crying out for a 36 when actually for my average wrist, this 39 is just absolutely spot on. I just think it's perfect. And I can live with those annoying little design snags with the branding, knowing that this is less than 200 pounds. It's their first attempt at a vintage Explorer style watch. And I think it's done really well. I think you can't really complain. The loom is really good and it lasts pretty well. It's not as good as the dive watches, but you've got a screw down crown and all the other lovely aspects that make a watch an everyday piece. You could wear this every day, as I have a lot, and just thoroughly enjoy it. And that's the end of the day, what these things are about. And if you're going to not like a few aspects of it, that's normal as well. No watch is perfect. But, you know, at this price, you would be so happy with this, as, as, I, as am I. I. I am really impressed, and I just love it. It's gorgeous. So I really hope you uh, have enjoyed my take on this watch. And you've got anything extra you need to know about either the brand or this piece, you may have not seen before or just like my opinion thanks a lot for watching happy days see you in the next one bye for now